Welcome back my people and uh, before we get back to our topic of the day I'll continue appreciating you people for the support continue supporting this channel continue sharing the videos continue viewing them and make sure they reach the whole world back to our topic of discussion whereby we are, we are discussing about syphilis and uh, in this video let's discuss about who is at risk of contracting or getting syphilis or people who are always at risk of getting this kind of a disease not this anyone can contract syphilis anyone can contract syphilis but certain factors increase chances of contracting this kind of an infection so the, the following group of people have an increased risk of contracting syphilis one people who have sex without protection that is obvious if you have sex without protection and with a person or a patient who is having this kind of a disease obvious you are going you are going to get it or you are at a higher chance or risk of getting this kind of infection number two people with multiple sex partners you find that you have like 10 girlfriends so you are putting yourself at risk of contracting this kind of a disease it's not necessarily uh, to men ladies you can also more, have more than 10 girlfriends so either way it puts you at a higher risk of contracting this kind of a disease because you don't know who is who you can't tell by the look who is having this kind of a disease or who doesn't have number three another group of people who are at risk of getting this kind of a disease are the gays gays means men who have sex with their fellow men so such kind of, of, of people uh, are at uh, higher risk of getting syphilis number four we have people who have hiv so when a person is having an hiv virus the immune system always goes down and syphilis is one of those opportunistic infections which come as a result of the low immune system number five we have people who have partners with syphilis definitely if your partner has syphilis you are going to get it if you practice unprotected sex let's come to the stages of syphilis syphilis undergoes four major stages which are one we have primary stage secondary stage latent stage and number four we have the tertiary stage let's start with the, pri the primary stage primary stage occur three to four weeks after contracting this kind of a disease or after contracting the bacteria it begins with a small round shaped sole called chanka it begins with a small round sore called chanka not this chanka is painless but very infectious and may appear wherever the bacteria entered for example if the bacteria bacteria entered your body through the mouth that's where the chanka will appear if the bacteria entered through the genitals that's where the chanka will appear if the bacteria entered your body through the rectum that's where the chanka will appear not this very important syphilis is only only transmitted through direct contact with a sore through direct contact with this sore or this chanka occurring during sexual activity or including oral sex let's get to number two which is secondary syphilis secondary syphilis here skin rashes and a sore and a sore throat may develop during this stage that means if you 
you you come from first stage to this secondary stage from primary stage to the secondary stage it by, might be characterized by having skin rashes and a sore throat skin rashes and a sore throat the rash is not itchy and it's found on palms palms and soles this is the palm and the sole is the the part of the leg that uh, usually is in direct contact with the ground hold anywhere on the body not this eh? in the secondary stage the rash is not itchy and it's found on the palms and the soles all anywhere on the body other symptoms of syphilis tertiary no other symptoms which may show that a patient is in this secondary stage include one headache number two swollen lymph nodes number three weight loss number four uh, hacking joints number five we have fever we have uh, fatigue uh, we have what we call um, hair loss those are other signs that can lead to a diagnosis that a client or a patient is in the secondary stage of syphilis in our no next topic we will be discussing about uh, uh, all in our, the next video we will discuss about the third stage of syphilis which is the latent uh, latent stage so guys thank you for being with uh, me throughout this journey let's continue uh, keeping the support on as i have been saying continue subscribing liking and make sure this video reaches as many people as possible so let's have a good day all of us and may god bless you all bye bye